Then I have some corn. Oops, Ooh, that was not intended. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Chomping with Chris. Today is 39 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning it's one of the coldest days in Houston, and I will be making chicken pot pie. So, to begin, I have thawed some Pillsbury pie crust, and I will be using uh, an 8 inch cake pan because I don't have a pie pan. So, uh, let's just. Ta da! Okay. So this is what it will look like. Okay, look carefully. I have prepared all of my ingredients here and I will start cooking. It said to use a third of a cup butter, but I said that was too much butter. So we're just using half a stick, a little less than half a stick because that's too much butter. So my pan is hot. I'll be pouring this butter in there. Oh look, my oven is preheated at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So my butter is melted. We're gonna pour the onions in first. It's at a, a third of a cup of onions. I just cut a half onion, so. And you're gonna do this for about two minutes, like flip them until they're nice and tender, caramelized. Let's take a look. Okay, great, my onions have looked approximately caramelized. They look pretty good to me. So I'm going to pour in a third of a cup of flour. Ta -da. Oh, it smells nice. And stir it. Oh, I need salt too. Salt and pepper. Oh, that flour really soaked up all the butter. Okay, then we're going to pour in some salt said half a teaspoon of salt, so we're just approximating. That looks about good. And then some pepper. I think it said a fourth teaspoon of pepper. Once again, just approximating. I have my cream of chicken. Oh, that's hot. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, I'm supposed to be on medium heat, that's why. Okay, I'm going to turn it on low so I can get some milk. Okay, this is what it looks so far, and I have cut some fresh carrots, so I, I need to put them in there so they can cook. Okay, well, anyway, I'm just going to start mixing things in. Yeah, I think so too. Here's the chicken, lots of chicken, and this is just some leftover rotisserie chicken that I cut and diced up. Then I have some corn. Oops, Ooh, that was not intended, but oh well. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. I will be tasting this first. It looks all right. Ow, my arm. Okay, here we go. Would you like to try? Okay, so I have gotten approval for the flavor. You like the flavor? Yeah. Okay, then we're turning the heat off and we are pouring it in here. Woo! -hoo -hoo. This is not going to be the prettiest pie you've ever seen. <laughs> well, anyway, it looks pretty good to me. I think I have covered the entire bottom layer, which was my goal. So now we are going to put it in my preheated oven and just bake it. We will come back in 35 minutes and see what it looks like. All right, so it has been 35 minutes and we let it rest for a little over five minutes, like it said to do so. So now I'm gonna take it out and reveal it. Oh boy. It's heavy. 
come take a look. Ta-da! It's oozing. We're just going to pretend like this is okay. Okay, so it smells really good because of the peas, so here we go. That's pretty good. The flavor, I think, is good. It's very soft, very savory, and then the crust is pretty crunchy, so... Mmm. Mmm. This is better than when I had it on the pan. Mmm. And the carrots are a bit softer. Let's try this crust. See how it tastes. Look at that. Mmm. The crust is good. Anyway, overall, it was a success. I just put some leftover rotisserie chicken. It says two and a half cups of chicken. I just used whatever was left. And then it said two cups of frozen mixed vegetables. I would recommend using fresh when you can, but I had about two fresh carrots, some canned green peas, and a handful of corn. I did not measure any of this. I just approximated. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. And uh, I used half an onion. So overall, it was success. Thanks for tuning in, and see you next time. Bye.